full cab mode, so it's more of an SUV, but we can also remove the panels on the sides of the top and then move the seat pillar forward to create a half cab. Since this is an all electric vehicle, there's no engine up here in the front engine bay, so we turn this into storage area, but then we can put a little door in the dash, and now you can pass long lumber and long items through the center of it. It's got 10 inches of wheel travel, um, it's got uh, disconnectable sway bars front and rear, and then it also has a uh, hydro pneumatic suspension that is self leveling, and you can manually adjust it up or down five inches from where uh, its static ride height is. So the body is, is aluminum, and this upper structure is made out of HSLA steel, and that actually is also a roll, roll gauge structure. So it's, you know, instead of having a round tube roll gauge inside the vehicle, this is exposed and you know, visible and it's a functional part of the vehicle. The aluminum chassis, yeah, it is a big weight savings. Um, it, it's very tall and massive, so it's got a lot of strength even though it's aluminum. Um, and also corrosion resistance is a big thing. So where this vehicle, or where we originate from in upstate New York, it's very, you know, very snowy in the winter and they use a lot of salt and it's corrosion is, is a big issue. So. That's another big driver for the aluminum. I mean, obviously it still can corrode, but it's, uh, we can put better coatings on it. And also everything is sealed, so there's not, you know, you're not getting, you know, the road debris up inside of the, the motors and gearboxes and things like that, because everything is sealed inside of the apartments. So there's a, a large battery pack under each um, the front seat position. So we're kind of basically this area, it's about nine inches front to back, and then all the way up to the center. The center of gravity is at about this height, uh, and about this position in the center. So it's extremely low center of gravity. You know, if you're on a side hill or doing climbing, it, it doesn't feel like any other vehicle. Uh, when we were out on the trails, we had a Rubicon along with us just as a kind of a, you know, a bogey, and you know, it, it just outperformed that. It feels way more stable than, than that vehicle.